back. Proud to bring you guys a new build. This is super exciting. This is first time that we actually ever encounter one of these, a marina type deal. So we're bringing you a boat. This is a 1977 uh, CA CCI, however you say that. <laughs> and got a, I believe it has a John's, uh, I don't wanna get it wrong, so. Evan Rude, 85 horse. This thing is awesome, super excited. So, ready to get out on the lake. I'm gonna shoot some clips right after this little intro. And uh, today I'm actually gonna be troubleshooting a little bit. It has a little bit of electrical issue with the lights for the front and uh, the interior. They're supposed to be all working. Maybe there's a fuse or something trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to work on that. But here's some clips of me and my buddy riding it. And there will be definitely, definitely more videos to come. Well, let's check this thing out. Tesla in my meter but what I really want to work on right now is securing these seats so whenever we took it out for a spin these were not secure for the driver's side and these were pretty secure so you can feel that right there it doesn't move around this one does so we're gonna have to find out how we can uh, make it secure looks like it's got a sliders right in there with some rails and it's even warm so this one doesn't hold at all it does just come off like that so, what we have here is uh, just a cover. Looks like it's mounted secure, but this thing, looks like these bolts are supposed to be holding a bracket here. Uh, looks like it just, they slide into here, into this leather portion, of it, and that's what's supposed to hold it down. So, it's going to be interesting. I have to figure something out. But, um... Other than that, guys, this thing, this thing rips. She's a, uh, she's pretty awesome. She is a, uh, said 85 horse pounds. It's a lot to take 600. Should be plenty, plenty what we're doing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think our lights is right here, but for some reason that switch does not work. There's a couple of fuses I found under here. So we're going to check them out. But, um. This thing doesn't have uh, that much mileage on it. She, uh, she's she been uh, rebuilt, new carbs, new jets, everything like that. So that's awesome. But let's go ahead and hop on this situation. I don't know what this is all about. Definitely need it to where whenever you're sitting for it to be a lot more secure than it is. And I don't know if we're going to keep these seats. We may change them to something else. But so far I like them because they do go with all that trim that they've put on. So it looks really nice. So let's go and try to see what we can do with this. All right, so kind of have an idea what I want to do. I want to put, pull up these boards. There's two of them, three screws each. I think if I'm going to pick this up, rotate it, and then remount it we should be good it shouldn't go anywhere um looks like this the system is the same here um, but this one can you can push it out you know slide it out and work on it but this the front one will never lift it's always secured to it so what i think is whenever you're driving you know it's pushing you against the seat so i think if i put that one here and yeah, that'll do just exactly what we need so i'm gonna go get some uh get my impact quickly remove this swap it around shouldn't be too hard all right i've removed them hopefully this just lifts off and it does exactly what i wanted it to do awesome so now what we're gonna do is just rotate this 
rotate this, mount it the other way. That way that is gonna always gonna push it against it. No way it will move back or forth. And that'll be perfect. You know, we're gonna have to worry about a pedal here because this is our pedal. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it kind of sucks that that is not mounted here. Um, I could honestly see if I could try to make it mount. Um, I think, yeah, because this one will lift up. So we actually might try to do that. That way this is also mounted. Well, this is, this is pretty secure there. Once we put that on, yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. So that needs to slide all the time. So yeah, it can't be bolted. Oh, that's no big deal. Let's just do what we're thinking of doing. Let's do it just like this. Swap it around. Make sure you get somewhat same spot. So yeah, that'll end there. Captain chair, we might actually need to move it forward a little bit. Actually, no, we don't need to move forward because it can always move forward on its own. Yeah. So, check and make sure for fitment purposes. Move this outward. Make it symmetrical as best as I can. Let's see if we can sit down. Get a feel for it. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Love it. I think it's exactly where we'll mount it. Just right there. I don't think it should be too hard to uh, remove it. Let's see if we can do that. Should be just moving these forward and out. Oh yeah. Feasibility is perfect. So yeah, we'll mount it right there. That way we don't get away if anything else. Because you know we got storage here as well. We got our little oar, a little paddle, make sure we don't get lost. So we definitely need that storage available for us. Let's go ahead and mount this down. The screws I just took out. Beautiful, love it. Oh, it is awesome. Now it's just nice and secure. Let's put this back on over here, test it out. Very nice, see, it butts up. This thing will not go anywhere anyway. And what we do is sit down and rod. Oh yeah, this, this is beautiful. Very nice, should be plenty of clearance for the feet. Very nice. Love it. Perfect. Um, this thing, it is what it is for now. We're just getting it ready because in uh, about a two days, we're actually taking her out on a ride. We're going to take it to the lake, so take the wives out, you know what I mean? Have some fun. So, yeah, I think we're done here. Now I'm going to do the electrical. I'm going to troubleshoot and find out what's going on with the electrical and you know I just thought of a thing to make it uh, a little easier so this doesn't rock what we can do is because look at this system look at that system I have I could take a 2x4 put it here that way when it falls into this channel to this channel here it'll fall between that 2x4 and it will not move side to side because that's what it's doing just falling over I think that's exactly what I will be doing here in a few so we're gonna leave this for a second and figure out the electrical because that's the most important right now we want to be safe on the water All right. put this back on looking like it was supposed to be there so under here what we have going on is 
our little electrical cabinet area. Both our fuel tanks go in here. There's two of them. Really awesome ones that came with it. Um, we do mix, this is a two stroker. So we mix our, we pre-mix our oil and gas. So floats good. We took it out for a good spin the other day. Oh yeah, we still got a bunch in here. So that's awesome. Yeah, she, that means she drinks very little when she rides. That's wonderful. So now we got to figure out what's going on with this, this system here. Um, I'm going to see if I can prop you guys up so you guys can see as well. All right, so hopefully you guys can see all that I'm doing. The battery's mounted pretty good. It's like this is disconnected. Seems like it's for a trickle charger. Corroded to crap. That's awesome. And that runs somewhere back there. And actually, I think this is exactly why I didn't have lights. It looks like it was just disconnected. That's what it looks like it runs back there. He may have just disconnected it that way whenever it's sitting, it doesn't just burn it out. So, heck, let's try it out. Uh, it is a little corroded. I wish I had something to clean it with. I don't. Oh, yeah. I have electrical cleaner uh, for electrical parts cleaner, so I'll... Uh, Electrical connections cleaner. So I will get that nicely cleaned. Let's make sure we got our proper voltages. Yeah, we got 12 volts, so we should be happy. Okay, so I got the key here. I don't think we need the key, but we're gonna we're gonna see if we need it or not. So I don't see anything turn on. I'm gonna look underneath here because we do have uh, a little light right there, so we could probably check with that. Yep, there it is. Now we got our lights. So I'm gonna have to go up to the front over there, take that off, and make sure we have lights over there uh, just to uh, ensure that we are all safe and sound, you know what I mean? I'm gonna activate that switch, make sure we got everything working. There we go, we got this light on. This is awesome. Go check out the front one. Oh yeah, beautiful, that is awesome. Simple as that, just have to figure out the connections. <laughs> Obviously didn't have this bolt long enough to know all about it, but hey, we're learning. All right, so now we know that for sure this is the connection. Like I said, it does have a little corrosion, obviously, because it kind of sits in the area where it's potential to get water in it, so I will clean it out. I have a nice little brush that can go in there, clean that out really well. That is definitely what I want to do. And we do seem to be like leaking a little bit of uh, oil that I saw from last time. Let me take this cover and I'll show y'all. See if I can do it. Being on top of here. Oh, bah. All right. Beautiful that down so from the engine side all i can see is that this gasket here it may be leaking just a little bit because there's like a little drip that comes out of here and then you can see it drips there and then it goes to here and then it just leaks out so um yeah look at that so i think we'll just order maybe a new one here shouldn't be a big big deal um i could probably take it off and maybe put some um put some gasket maker maybe and that should be probably plenty to fix that leak um so yeah let's actually do that i'm gonna try to put this uh, put the motor down that way not just pouring out the, the carb should be closed you know they, they but they may be a little bit full of uh, fuel so i'm gonna just lean it the proper way and uh so we can see if we can make it happy so what we need to do is put our key in that should be plenty. I'm gonna go up. All right. That just brought the motor up. And what we have is these little pieces here. We gotta lift away because this is what we put on for it whenever we're driving. So the motor is just not holding up in the air with the hydraulics. And now we go over here to the controls and go to the down for the trim control. Hit it down, there we go. Go down as much as we can. I think 
That should be, that right there should pull on your jail. Just stop it. It has little hydraulic pieces there too. That should stop it. All right, and so now try to remove this piece. Hopefully it's not too much work. Let's get it. Well, so guys, it actually looks like a guy never put a gasket back on. Don't understand why, but that's exactly what it is. Huh. Very strange, huh? Strange, no gasket whatsoever. I think I'll take a picture of it and uh, send him a uh, text to see if he has a gasket. If he doesn't, it's alright, we've got some magic gasket maker. We have sprayed it with some nice parts cleaner, brake cleaner. And nice and dry. It is missing a gasket. I just talked to the guy and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. It never leaked oil, but it had an oil drop down there whenever I came to look at it. But whatever. We're not gonna get argue and got arguing or upset about it. This groove right here. This tells you exactly that there's supposed to be a gasket there, but we're not gonna we're not gonna bother. We're just gonna make our own for now, and then I will look online and order a new one. Looks like I'm gonna take a picture of that. That number there, right there, and of course reference it with the motor that I have, and I'm sure I will be able to find an exact gasket for this. No worries, not a big deal. So, gasket maker that I have is right here. I use it on my dirt bikes as well. It works awesome, never leaks. It is fuel resistant. That is exactly what you want. Um, so that'll do for now. Let's go ahead and uh, lube it up, as we say. So um, let's just do it like this. I don't want to use my fingers really, but shouldn't be too hard. There'll be plenty of squeeze out, so it'll technically seal itself up. Bam. Should be all we need right there. Let me clean this off. So we can use it later again, of course. And like I said, do a perimeter all the way around the bolts areas definitely want to get it in there because it can leak there i promise you that he said also yeah he's never messed with the motor or anything yeah when i was looking at it he said that he rebuilt the carburetors and all that I mean, I just say he just he doesn't want to it backfire on him as if I'm gonna return it. I'm not returning. I just I just want to know if he had it or not. You know that that's all I'm asking. I'm not accusing him of anything. I just ask him, hey, did you forget to put it on? Do you have it? You don't. Whatever. You know, cheap. Plenty of gaskets out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. So, all right. I'm gonna put the bolts on. Of course, this long one. This is the only one that's the longest one. All the other ones are this small, and that is exactly why you would have a gasket because why would you need to thread all this in into there just to hold a plastic piece? I mean, you're supposed to have a gasket like that's like that thick for that, but hey, what do I know? So yeah, this one, long one, is gonna be the only one that goes in the middle. So I think we'll start with top two actually, and then we'll get the bottom two work from there. Do that. See if we can line it up the first time and not make a mess. Let me see if I can clean it off a little bit more over here. Make sure it's got a good seal. Seal up. Flat for it. Third. And then whatever rest of oil that's in there, it'll leak out on its own, so I don't 
I'm not worried about that at all. Not one bit. First one started. We'll get one more in there and then I'll be able to press it against it because I want to make sure it's all aligned. Beautiful. Right. Just like that. Very nice. Put these in. Make sure y'all in the view. There we go. A lot of y'all said that y'all wanted more in-depth videos like this, so I'm gonna try not to skip around, you know, fast pace or whatever. Just how I figure it out, it'll help y'all see the steps I go through to figure things out. I know when I rebuild vehicles, y'all want more in-depth, but you know, for me, it'd be like, it'd be, I'd have to post like seven or 10 different videos on something because you, you just can't, you know, uh, upload what that'd be like four or five hours and who want, who's got time for that you know so i'm gonna make sure you guys get the proper help that y'all need or advice like i said i'm not a professional I'm just a guy out here that just wants to learn whatever i learn i'll definitely help somebody else figure it out too on the way get a socket for this. Might help. They don't want to go too tight. Gasket's gonna do plenty. Okay, it's home. Very nice. Beautiful. And then I can see why it'd be hard to tighten this one up, but it wasn't only leaking down here, so it was pretty much all on the bottom end. It wasn't a lot, so I don't have a big problem with it, you know. Like I said, this this gasket maker would probably be plenty for it. Not a big deal. But usually there's a pretty thick gasket there. Because, uh, you know, two strokes do sometimes leak oil. Can't get away from it sometimes. tightening up pretty good now. That should be plenty. I have plenty. Plenty, I think. So yeah, it's kind of bowing it out. I don't I don't like it here. The top is perfect. Hopefully it'll be enough. We'll just let it settle. Yeah, so let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Exactly why you would have a gasket here. And he's playing like he never heard of a gasket there. So here is exactly what I'm trying to say here. Top side here. You can see that it actually was a little really nice. These sides right here, you can see that there's a pretty decent gap there. So means this thing doesn't sit that flush. Means whatever's supposed to take up that room is a gasket. But like I said, gasket. So it is mounted back up. I will wait probably a day or whatever. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Should be able to come home. Make sure, check and inspect everything if everything's okay. 
and then we'll be running it Friday. So we'll definitely t get to test it out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean all this out real quick, make sure we figure out if there's another leak or anything like that. But so far I've seen it where it's just dripping, pouring down this little piece whenever it's lifted up after running for some time. It's not a lot. Like I said, this, all this water is mainly whenever we stopped abruptly and the, it came in on here a little bit, but no big deal. Good deal. Let's, uh, let's move forward. I'm going to cover this back up because, uh, everything looks good. When we were on the lake, it actually fired up really, really easy. Obviously it's a two stroke. So sometimes it just takes a second to fire up, but, uh, it did pretty well actually really good. So I didn't even mount this back because this American flag kind of went loose on me so i need to put this back in here not a big deal that's all strapped it should be good i do want to figure out a better way to put these uh, fuel tanks in here because i mean this side you're still able to push it under and you know cover it but this side kind of as if it's like smaller which now that i look at it i think i can actually slide it in there and be way out of the way because i'm going to run two fuel tanks just in case you always want to have extra um of course carry a maybe a jumper uh, jumper box little booster box you can get them pretty cheap um, just in case so yeah all right so I just found this out pretty cool this little cover comes with a little rope so you can start it if your battery dies so i guess i don't need a jumper cable that's pretty that's pretty cool i like that um so i did just talk to the owner before me and uh he said he called the previous owner that he brought it from it's two hours away from here and uh that guy took it off because he didn't see a point in it so yeah, I was right that there is a gasket that goes there. And uh, he's gonna give me a hold of him so we can, uh, maybe I can get him to ship it down here. Cause I'm gonna drive him three hours just for gas, you know what I mean? It's kinda pointless, but yeah. So let's uh, throw this back on and uh, make sure these are open. Beautiful. clip very nice um, I also did notice that this here these connections with these um, zip ties it may be leaking out of here as well uh, will maybe be helping it drip this side's better but this side is not it looks like it does show a little bit here so we're gonna spray with some brake cleaner and uh, hopefully we'll find out on our next run if uh, that's what's causing it. And that's how you want to troubleshoot as well, you know. Spray down. And then uh, next time you're running, or you're clean, you develop a leak and find out where it's come from. Simple hack. Nothing nothing that I you know, discovered. <laughs> yeah, she's put. Very happy. I'm going to get this all this water out. Uh, water slash oil. While that's thawing right there, um, what I want to do is uh, see if I can get the vacuum. Let me show you guys. I want to see if I can get a vacuum in here. Do a little bit of cleaning because it is kind of dirty. We wanted to make it nice and clean in here. So, yeah, no big deal. But I do need to want to find out a better way to secure this. So whenever we're actually towing it, you know, with a truck... I want to be able to just lock this to here or the wheel to here honestly so this is not you know not swaying because when it turns it'll cause the whenever you're driving it'll cause the um the engine to hit from side to side hopefully it'll you know when it hits one side it'll stay there but i'm gonna make it where it locks and better than just this right here the rope will work but uh i don't know 
it is good to have because I mean it's rope. I have some smaller ones, so maybe I can deal with with that. But I just I just don't like it that it swings around. So I want to make it nice and straight the whole time that we're riding. But yeah, no big deal. Um, other than that, I think we're ready. This little cover is pretty awesome, so it's going to be really prime for whenever we actually go out because it's going to be a nice and warm. So a little bit of digging around, I actually found this little rope here. It was it was all tucked in here, but. This little piece right here, so whenever you're actually on the lake, you go for a swim, have a way to get back in there. That is pretty cool, but definitely need to find out where it actually mounts because it definitely doesn't mount there. <laughs> um, so we're going to try to see what we can figure out. It looks like you could probably mount it right there. Yeah, and then help yourself up. Oh, yeah, I think that'll do it. See if I can get this disconnected real quick. Right. So yeah, whenever you go for a swim, hook this up right there, step right there, and bam. I love that. That's pretty cool. I would like that actually to be on the front side because the back side is always sitting lower. So we got these anchors here. We'll probably be mounting them there. Let's see if we can get up there. That's pretty sweet, actually. I really like that. That's awesome. Good deal. Cause like, you know, my wife is pregnant, so it's gonna be a lot harder for her to get up there just on her own. So, good deal. Well, there y'all have it. We pulled up over here. Didn't have an anchor, so we're just using the island. Well, this thing rides very well, as y'all see in the video. It does awesome. We thought it was taking on water because it was filling up this little portion here, as you can see right here. But uh, once you plane out, it actually goes all the way, so. Not a big deal there, but thing does awesome. Very happy. Very happy with it, for sure. <laughs>